Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit seven, lesson two, multiplying powers of 10. Problem number one, write each expression with a single exponent. A, 10 to the power of three times 10 to the power of nine. Exponent three plus exponent nine equals exponent 12. So the answer would be 10 to the power of 12. B, 10 times 10 to the power of four. That's the same as 10 times 10 four more times for a total of 10 times 10 five different times. On the first 10, that's really 10 to the power of one. An exponent of one plus an exponent of four equals an exponent of five. So this would be 10 to the power of five. C, 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of seven. So that's multiplying 10 by itself 10 times and then another seven times. So an exponent of 10 plus an exponent of seven equals an exponent of 17. So 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of seven would equal 10 to the power of 17. D, 10 to the power of three times 10 to the power of three. That's a total of 10 to the power of six. You're gonna multiply 10 times itself six times. E, 10 to the power of five times 10 to the power of 12. Exponent five plus exponent 12 equals exponent 17. So you're going to multiply 10 times itself 17 different times. So 10 to the power of five times 10 to the power of 12 equals 10 to the power of 17. F, 10 to the power of six times 10 to the power of six times 10 to the power of six. Exponent six plus exponent six plus exponent six equals exponent 18. 10 to the power of six times 10 to the power of six times 10 to the power of six equals 10 to the power of 18. Problem number two, a large rectangular swimming pool is 1,000 feet long, 100 feet wide, and 10 feet deep. The pool is filled to the top with water. A, what is the area of the surface of the water in the pool? To find the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply the length times the width. So in this case, we'd have to multiply 1,000 feet times 100 feet. And 1,000 times 100 is 100,000 feet. So the area would be two-dimensional, 100,000 feet squared. B, how much water does the pool hold? That's going to be the volume, which is three-dimensional. So we'll need to multiply 1,000 times 100 times 10. And that would be 1 million feet to the third power or 1 million cubic feet. C, express your answers to the previous two questions as powers of 10. Let's look at A. A was 1,000 times 100 to get 100,000. Well, 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the power of three, times 100, which is 10 times 10, or 10 to the power of two. Exponent three plus exponent two equals exponent five. So A would be 10 to the power of five square feet. Now let's look at B. B is almost exactly the same as A, except for they're also multiplying it by 10. And that's a 10 to the power of one. Exponent five plus exponent one equals exponent six. And it's three dimensional. So B would be 10 to the power of six cubic feet. Problem number three from eighth grade, unit two, lesson seven. Here is triangle ABC. Triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC and the length of EF is five centimeters. What are the lengths of sides DE and DF in centimeters? I've put the similar triangle DEF on the right hand side. And you can see that side EF is labeled as five centimeters. Five centimeters is half of 10 centimeters. 
which is the length of the corresponding line BC on triangle ABC. That tells me that all the corresponding sides for triangle DEF will be half the length of their corresponding sides for triangle ABC. Half of 6 centimeters is 3 centimeters, and half of 8 centimeters is 4 centimeters. The length of side DE is 3 centimeters, and the length of side DF is 4 centimeters. Problem number 4 from 8th grade Unit 3 Lesson 3. Elena and Jada distribute flyers for different advertising companies. Elena gets paid 65 cents for every 10 flyers she distributes, and Jada gets paid 75 cents for every 12 flyers she distributes. Draw graphs on the coordinate plane representing the total amount each of them earned, Y after distributing X flyers. Use the graph to decide who got paid more after distributing 14 flyers. I've labeled the horizontal axis, the x-axis, as number of flyers distributed, and the y-axis, the vertical axis, as the amount earned. Along the horizontal axis, the x-axis, the number of flyers distributed, I counted in increments of 2, from 0 through 20. And along the vertical axis, the y-axis, I counted in increments of 10, from 0 to 100. The information tells us that Elena got paid 65 cents for delivering 10 flyers. So I can put a point at 10, 65, 10 along the x-axis, and 65 along the y-axis. Jada got paid 75 cents for delivering 12 flyers. So I can put a point at 12 along the x-axis and 75 along the y-axis. We can figure out how much that is per flyer. Elena got paid 65 cents for delivering 10 flyers. 65 divided by 10 is 6.5. That's 6.5 cents per flyer. 6.5 times 14 equals 91 cents. So Elena gets paid 91 cents for delivering 14 flyers. Jada gets paid 75 cents for delivering 12 flyers. 75 divided by 12 equals 6.25. And 6.25 cents times 14 flyers equals 87.5 cents. Jada gets paid 87.5 cents for delivering 14 flyers. Since 91 cents is greater than 87.5 cents, Elena gets paid more for delivering 14 flyers. You can support my YouTube channel by subscribing, liking this video, and leaving a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.